that the indigenous people of West Papua can decide democratically their own future in accordance with international standards of human rights, the principles of international law, and the Charter of the United Nations. And that's a very important um, declaration. And the declaration itself doesn't prescribe the future for West Papua, because that is not our job. That, as it says, is the inalienable right of the people of West Papua themselves. But what we are hoping is that not only parliamentarians following the recent formation of the International Parliamentarians for West Papua, but also citizens throughout the world will sign up to this statement thereby putting pressure on governments and on the United Nations to make good the wrong that was done with the so-called act of free choice and enable a genuine um, act of self-determination democratically to take place in West Papua. That's what you're campaigning for, that's what we've formed a parliamentary group to support and that is what we're determined to achieve. So thank you very much. representatives so that the whole world makes it clear that oppression in West Papua is unacceptable, that the so-called act of free choice in 1969 was a violation of the fundamental rights of the West Papuan people, and that we, citizens of the world, want justice for West Papua for the future. <laughs> Everywhere they, they read my message today. The poem today I gave British Prime Minister and to hand down with me to the And of course, the people call it Oxford. And also, because I live, people call it British.